Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Further Beyond Gaming, my name is Cody GT and in today's video I thought this was a fantastic time to give you an insight of my daily resource grind and what I think you guys should be doing on a daily basis as well. Also, I did want to go ahead and do a video on what I'm doing to prepare for version 4.0 and beyond. I thought this might be a good video for you guys as well to give you an insight on what I'm doing to prepare for those versions, as well as what I think you should be doing. Also, what you should be investing your time and resources into and things of that nature. So keep in mind, this is all contingent on your captain level, all contingent on what you have unlocked already, as well as I guess you can categorize this as a beginner's guide to home Kai because for my veteran players this will all be kind of well understood common knowledge in a sense but for my beginner players maybe um, you don't know what you should be doing on a daily basis or you don't know what you should be investing your time and resources into especially for preparing for different versions that are to come in the future so I thought this would be a really good video for you guys and um, to give you an insight of what you maybe should be doing on an everyday basis as well as what you should be doing to prepare for future versions so I do hope you enjoy today's video I hope you like like what you see if you do go ahead and drop a like and if you're new go ahead and subscribe for more content like this so let's jump straight into it because i feel like i talked long enough one real quick plug though one real quick plug a link to the discord will be in the description below go ahead and join the discord today okay that's it let's go ahead and jump straight into it so when i first log into the game the very first thing i do and keep in mind this is what i do on an everyday basis is go to my armada, my armada <laughs> excuse me if i can english my armada and i do my commission so once again this is keep in mind this is contingent on what you have unlocked and your captain level there may be some things that you do not have access to and there may be things that i'm doing that you just don't have unlocked just yet um for several different reasons so whatever i do today if you have it unlocked if you're able to do it that would be my recommendation if you don't we'll just continue to progress through the game continue to level up and those things will become available to you for example if you're not an armada go ahead and consider getting into one there are a lot of great benefits for joining in, joining an armada and being in one so that would be my recommendation so my very first thing that I do, I do my commissions. And keep in mind, a lot of what I do is for your daily things to get your rewards in the daily uh, mission. So that is another reason why I do them. So once I do all my commissions, um, I do that. And then I do check the warehouse to see if anybody needs anything in the warehouse. There you go. <laughs> you can go ahead and have that. And then because I am the Armada leader, I would then go ahead and start um, building for my armada to try and progress it a little bit further something that I try and do every single day sometimes I forget uh, which is unfortunate I hate when I forget to do that but I try and remember to do that each and every single time that I log into the game so that's my very first thing that I do is the armada then I move over to my dorm and I start working on my dorm so the very first thing I do is I go ahead and collect the coins now sometimes my coins will be full and I will collect it sometimes when I first log in it's not but I still collect it because it uh, a lot of times it meets the requirements for one of my daily missions uh, and then I go over to my expedition and I start um, investing in and prioritizing the Valkyrie that I'm focusing on. I mentioned this in a couple of my videos already that the uh, Valkyrie that I'm focusing on right now is the A rank Dorando, Valkyrie Gloria. Um, so what I do is I try and go ahead and do as many missions as I can. Now, keep in mind, you may want to manage your stamina a little bit more strategically than I am. I am actually going to max out the amount of missions that I can do. Uh, reason being is because I have a lot of stamina items um, on standby that I can use and so I don't have to worry too much about my stamina right now um, I can go ahead and max out the missions and be perfectly fine to be able to complete the rest of the things that I would have to do uh, today so um, not a problem for me so I do all five missions for my Valkyrie Gloria and then I move over to my materials now in the materials there are a lot of good things that you should be focusing on right now my main focus is the AE Imaginon um, but I am actually going to start focusing on the Drive Komata Core uh, because I need to max that core out. I realize I've neglected that augmentation version of Yamabuki Armor. 
which is unfortunate because she's absolutely fantastic. So I'm actually going to start prioritizing that here soon. Uh, but I want to do the AE Imagine on because I only need a few more uh, to get some more Honkai shards, which we're going to go ahead and get into here in just a second. So I do three of those to max those out um, to the best of my abilities. And then we're good to go there. I don't do more than three uh, just because I do try and manage my stamina a little bit. <laughs> So I do three, and then the next thing I do is I move over to my errands. Now, I think the errands are extremely important, or the expeditions, I should say. Um, make sure you are doing these, and we'll get into the reason why here in just a second. Um, but what I basically try and do, if there's any S+, plus, of course, I go for those first. If there's any S's, I go for those as well. And I just do a quick dispatch just to make this easier, because keep in mind, this is something that you should be doing on a daily basis. So... Um, you know, after a while, you just kind of quick dispatch them. <laughs> um, so I do those, and once I am able to do those, I do a few Bs, um, but I don't want to do too much because I want to make sure that I have enough of the uh, material to, in case there's like an S or an S plus that shows up at some point, uh, enough to be able to do that. So I do a couple Bs. I don't max everything out here, just for me, the necessary ones, and then I'm good. Uh, so that's my expedition. I let that ride and stay out there. And then when they're ready to collect, um, then we'll go ahead and collect those. So once I do the dorm, as you can see now on my side, I have some of the events and some of the dailies here. So the events, I have some of those completed already. And some of the dailies, as you can see, um, I could already start collecting those. But we're not going to go ahead and collect those just yet. Um, then I move over to the supply and then I move over to the shop. This is the very next thing that I do. And I actually do whatever's in the coin available for a coin purchase. I actually do purchase because one, it completes one of the dailies. And two, it's usually a fragment for a Valkyrie that I may already have triple S rank or something of that nature. But that's great to be able to convert into witches orbs, which are a valuable material that you'd want to obtain so once i do that i actually pretty much skip everything else here but i do check to see if there's anything that i can purchase with mithril um, a lot of times this material the advanced skill material you can purchase with mithrils um, which is i think a great value and this is something that you're gonna want to be stocking up on for version 4.0 this advanced skill material i think i mentioned this in one of my videos in the past or previously is a material you're gonna wanna start stocking up on because if you are gonna invest in the new Teresa that's gonna be coming out, you're definitely gonna need this material and you're gonna need a lot of it. So um, if I'm able to purchase it for Mithril's, I do. If it's pretty decent for Acerite, I'll purchase it then. I'm very stingy with my Acerite, you'll come to find this out. So my Acerite, I try and stay pretty stocked up on and not use too much. Um, this is actually a pretty decent deal for Asterite, I'm not going to lie, but if you're free to play, I don't advise you using crystals on anything. I advise you saving your crystals and not using your crystals for any materials here um, and saving it. And that's actually what I do myself, even though that is very tempting for me. I might actually go for that. <laughs> I'll, I got to think about it. Then I just kind of move down the line in the shop, see what's available, see what I can go ahead and get. Now, for the Armada Terminal, I'm actually waiting to get enough of uh, the Rangers cred to be able to get the Honkai Core. I think that's the only really valuable thing here, to be quite honest with you. Um, the uh, Blood Embrace parts is kind of tempting, but I really want to save up for that Honkai Core. It takes a long time, keep that in mind, but... I think it's worth to try and obtain that, in my opinion. Uh, moving on from there, of course, the event shop is for whatever event is going on right now. Um, now, the event to get the Drifted Quills, um, I believe, is not available anymore through the Honkai Kingdom. Now, I haven't played the, sto the story just yet. Um, so I'm actually not sure if you can get more quills there. I guess in the comments down below, let me know. I've been thinking about waiting to do a maybe a possible live stream for that. Um, we'll see <laughs> we'll see um but other than that i may just be going for the asteroid for the quills to finish that up and then you have the other materials here moving over to the task shop this is where you can go ahead and obtain those um the battle arsenal i've actually been uh saving up on these as well the gold pins um, as you can see i've stocked up on a lot of those uh, reason being is because there are a lot of good things that you can obtain with the gold pins but i think the main things that you should be focusing on is the ae imaginons uh this material right here the sc metal h2 uh, for 
being able to pre-arm your weapons that are able to be pre-armed and the advanced skill material as well as if you are um, into Ye Kasumi trying to get her leveled up you can there as well um, and then the uh, smelted cores are always a good thing for your augment uh, your augmented Valkyries and your divine keys but the reason why I've been stocking up on the gold pins and not using them is because a lot of times with the materials that I have because they're so finite and they take a while to uh, accumulate a good amount of I usually just wait until something drops that I may need them for. So, for example, uh, for the pre-arms for version 4.0, um, for the key of void, I'm actually going to be holding off to see if I need more of this material here to obtain to be able to finish it out. Uh, because you can get this material in several different ways, but I've been waiting to see if I need to use the gold pins to get these. So, I'm just kind of hold holding off on that. Um, and then the advanced skill material for the new Teresa that will drop. If I need some more advanced skill material, this is a great source to be able to go ahead and attain some more. I don't want to use my gold pins to get this on a weekly basis and then find out that, you know, I had enough. I didn't really need to use the gold pins for them or what have you. So I kind of hold off on things until um, I'm starting to use them in whatever I'm trying to level up or rank up or evolve. And then if I need more, I know I have the resource to get more here, if that makes sense. Um, so I just, I kind of hoard things until I need to use them for a specific reason. Um, and for me, that just works out the best because I would, ha I would hate to use all my gold pins on getting advanced skill material and just stocking up on that. And then I don't have enough to be able to get this material here to be able to pre-arms a certain weapon. It's just something to where I just kind of wait. I hold off on until I start needing to upgrade. So that's that. Moving on, um, of course, the Ancient Willpower. I've been kind of hoarding on this as well, but I've been using it strictly for my Memento, as you can see. Uh, my Memento is my focus right now. I do want a double S ranker just because I truly love her. I have her weapon maxed out. I think she's fantastic. So um, I, that's been my main focus right now. So that is that. Moving over to the Asterite shop. Here is where I become very stingy as well. I've been hoarding Asterite and try not to use it as much because, um, again, the materials that you can get to pre-arms a weapon are in the Asterite shops as well. Asterite for me is a little bit more difficult to come by. Um, and I don't like to go through it too quickly. So I've been hoarding my asteroid, waiting for the time where I would have to use it um, for all these materials. You know, you have your uh, resin convert to convert the rare weapons to weapon renaissances. I've been hoarding uh, asteroid for that, um, for the nano ceramic as well. Another material you need for pre-arming a weapon. So just been kind of waiting, kind of hoarding my asteroid. So I'm getting re ready for version 4.0 for the pre-arm. And for the new Teresa, um, so I've been kind of waiting on that. But one thing that I can actually use that this is one of the reasons why I use the AE Imaginant in the um, in the dorm uh, for your expeditions or uh, for your missions that you should be using uh, is for this reason right here to be able to get more Honkai shards. As you can see, I have one of three. I'm going to go ahead and get another one here. Now, obviously, I have two of three. And then I only need one more and I have another Honkai core. So... The AE Imaginons are really, really good. Um, something that I think you should be just kind of trying to uh, collect uh, in your open world missions as well as in your dorm missions as well to be able to get those Honkai uh, cores or the shards to make a Honkai core. Uh, so that way you can level your weapons up and then eventually uh, max them out. So uh, that is the Asterite shop. The Mithril shop, nothing too amazing here. Uh, once again, I've just been kind of hoarding my Mithril. I do purchase these things though. <laughs> I could have bulked by that. I do purchase these though um, because the reason being, and I think you should purchase them as well if you have that material there, uh, is for the Super EXP chips. I think they're really great uh, to be able to get some more of those. But for the Mithril shop, i just kind of been hoarding. Uh, the reason being is because if I need more of the Twin Soul Crystals, if I run out, I can get more here if i need more exp chips i can get them there as well um so i've just been kind of waiting holding off on that it's kind of what i do as you can tell is there, there's a theme here uh gold i don't use gold at all for any of these items unless i absolutely have to uh because gold is just a really precious resource for me uh, to be able to level up a lot of things <laughs> and level up skills and whatnot so i i try and hold on to as much gold as possible uh, co-op shop it's pretty pretty much the same thing i, I kind of just bulk by this um each and every time 
Uh, and then the rest, if I have the material, you know, go for the Honkai Shard, in my opinion. Um, moving over to the exchange shop, once again, if there's something here that I really like that entices me, I go for it. Uh, other than that, I, I don't. Now, what's really enticing, actually, right now is the uh, Briere Esprit. Uh, that really has been enticing me, but I just can't afford to be able to go for that right now. <laughs> so, it's a bit unfortunate. That is very enticing. Uh, two pre-armed weapons in here, by the way, with the Florid Sakura as well. Um, so that's that uh, always some pretty good things in here as well moving over to the master shop uh, once again nothing really to write home about the Honkai core is probably what you should be going for um, or this right here uh, this booster ticket is just absolutely fantastic I wish there were uh, more ways to be able to obtain that on a regular basis uh, because I think that's a really, really good resource. Um, but other than that, the Honkai Core is really great. Um, the um, uh, level up material for pre-arming is good. And then, of course, the AE Imaginon is really good as well. So those are the things that you should be focusing on. Um, the Witch's Corridor, once again, talking about the Witch's Orb. Uh, being able to convert those overflowing Valkyrie fragments that you have into these Witch's Orbs can get you some really good stuff here. Now, once again, I've been hoarding on the Witch's Orbs. Um, I could, you know, maybe be trying to triple S rank another Valkyrie. Uh, but I hold on to the Witch's Orbs strictly for these materials right here. Uh, uh, specifically, the Advanced Skill Material and the AE Imaginon once again. Um, you know, if I need them, I can grab, a, there's another resource that I can go to, to try and obtain them. So another reason why I'm hoarding the witches orbs, preparing for version 4.0 and seeing if I need to use them to get the materials here. It's just another avenue. Got a notification. Do apologize about that. But like I was saying, it's just another option that I can utilize another avenue that I can take. Now, this is extremely important in my opinion, and that is the work points card as you can see i've been extremely hoarding these i have over 12,000, and that's strictly for the pre-arms as well as you can get lucy in here uh, phase shifters you can get dorm supply cards if you need them uh, again another area to get advanced skill material and this right here the einstein taurus i think is extremely valuable and this is a good place to be able to get your Einstein Taurus because if you do not know, um, to get Einstein Tauruses uh, initially uh, took, oh, oh, I passed it, took using um, this material right here, the Weapon Renaissance, where you would have to convert a specified rare weapon um, in order to get the Weapon Renaissance. And that was a hefty price in order to get the Einstein Taurus, but you can get it here as well. For only a hundred of the uh, work points cards, you can get the Einstein Taurus, and that is a an extremely valuable um, avenue that you can take. That you don't have to convert a uh, rare weapon, one of your four-star uh, weapons, in order to get an Einstein Taurus. So that, in my opinion, right there alone is the reason why you should be doing those expeditions to get those work point cards. And that's why I've just been hoarding, uh, so that way when Keys of the Void drop. Um, I can go ahead and get that because uh, I do plan on maxing that weapon out. Keep in mind, um, I know you may not have to. I know it may not be a thing, but I want to max it out for myself to say I was, you know, I have it on my account maxed out keys of the void. I think that <laughs> I think that would just be awesome. So that's my reasoning for, you know, hoarding the work point cards. But um, like I mentioned, a lot of other good materials that you can obtain here. So I think that's extremely important. Make sure you're doing your expedition so you can get that material right there so once i do all of that <laughs> i know that was a bit long-winded if you're still with me i appreciate it you're the best um after i do all that then i move over to actually doing some things in the game as far as playing so the first thing that i do is i actually go to the material event i do my weekday materials and then i do my battle suit training um, as well as the time works and the drift world you're going to want to do those because uh, those materials are all extremely valuable. I think you should be doing it. That's all considering you have enough of the planaroids to be able to do them. As well as the stamina. Keep that in mind. If you have that available, you should be uh, able to do that. Then I move over to open world. If it's available, if you have tasks that are there, do the task and get those completed. So that way you can complete, again, another one of your um, daily requirements. Um, once you do those two things, then 
uh, I would move over to your uh, Q Singularis or your Abyss, whether it's Dirac C or Q Singularis. If it's available, once again, you may be preparing like I am, so just kind of hold off on that. Uh, but if it's available, do that. And then if it's available as well, do your Memorial Arena. Um, once you do those things, and then if there's any events going on, do those. You would have completed literally, probably, in all likelihood, all of your daily requirements. And then you can just go ahead and start collecting here. Uh, I, For some reason, I don't know why I hold off until I do all those things and then I collect <laughs> for some reason. But as you can see, once you do those things, uh, you'll start being able to fill this out pretty much all the way. You'll get that done in no times as well as that'll help with your battle pass rewards as well. And then you would be all set to go. And then from there, you can do whatever, you know, other things that you would need to do, whether it be story Oh, advanced skill material. Nice. Whether it be story or chronicles or, you know, your uh, bounty marks, whatever the case may be, you can then start focusing on those things um, and then working on that. Or if there's an event going on, you could do the event. Um, but those are my recommended things on what you should be doing every single day. Each and every single day, you should be doing those things as well as the materials and the resources you should be focusing on hoarding getting ready getting together um, to prepare for version 4.0 as well as future versions to come here very soon um, those are the things that i i believe you should be focusing on uh, what you should be preparing for and what you should be getting ready so i hope you enjoyed the video today i hope you found it a bit informative hopefully it was helpful to some of my beginner players and um, I hope you guys got something from it. Uh, but with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. I feel like I rambled on long enough. Um, and and uh, I hope you have a, a fantastic day. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. And until next time, my boys, until next time, it's your homie Cody GT. And I'm out.